believe that it's already the second week of lockdown level one. So are people still celebrating this freedom? Let's bring in our reporter, Kobila Dalla, who's out and about. She's in Santon to check on what the situation is. What are you finding? Well, Jane, from where I'm standing, it seems rather quiet for the Santon that we used to. In fact, I was speaking to some of the guys around here, um, the ones that own coffee shops, people who are driving people around Santon. They're saying to me, it's very quiet and it's been quiet from the point from lockdown right straight to now. And they're saying that they've lost a lot of business um, with time. And in fact, one of the coffee shop owners is telling me that some of the coffee shops around here has been um, shut because of the fact that not a lot of workforce has come in. So on the road, there's no traffic at all. We're seeing one or two cars passing. And it's, it's a chilly morning. You can already see with everybody around here all dressed up. But a little less of people coming in, a little more coming in also on the how train, but no less than what we are used to of the kind of buzzing energy around Santon. Okay, let's leave it there and you can put a jersey on. I mean, we did hear that a cold front is on its way and that always affects commuters. Let's find out what's happening on the Gao train. It says it saw a commuter drop due to COVID-19. The service has been operational since level four, but is level one giving people the confidence to use the trains again? Our reporter, Slinda Lamasikani, is finding out. Uh -huh. She's at Park Station. Slee, what's it looking like? Well, right now, Jane, uh, we have a Gao train bus that's actually attempting to park, so we're going to have to move. Apologies for the shaky visuals. Um, however, we are here at Park Station. We're about to board uh, the Gao train uh, to Hatfield uh, and make our way to the Union Buildings. I am in a race uh, with Linda Gutlokbulu, who's going to be taking a car. And what we've noticed, uh, Teddy and I, as we arrived at, uh, um, at Park Station uh, to park our car at the Gao train, um, is that uh, the numbers of people that are certainly coming to use the service have certainly declined. Usually at around this time, it is peak time um, in terms of traffic. And, uh, and in terms of people being on the move, uh, you know, commuting from, from uh, home to work, um, it's not as busy as what it used to be. Even the parking lot, uh, there are quite a few cars. When, uh, when we arrived at around half past six this morning, there are, there are around 14 to 15 cars in the parking lot. And uh, outside, uh, uh, outside the parking lot, um, you can see that the bus services, which are running at around 15 minutes, uh, 15 minute intervals, uh, since, uh, uh, since the, the low levels of the lockdown um, they're actually at a standstill you know the people are not boarding um, it's very it's quite empty and we, were, we heard from officials uh, that we spoke to off camera as well that uh, um, at the train stations as well uh, the numbers of people that are using the service um, it, it has certainly declined and we can assume that people are either still working from home um, and also you know financial situations since the pandemic um, have uh, have really affected a lot of people's pockets uh, I know for my trip uh, alone just today from the uh, Park Station, Hao Chain Station to Hatfield is going to cost me around uh, 160 Rand. Um, Teddy as well, it's going to cost around 160 Rand. That's a return trip. Um, and, uh, you know, for some people, that's just... That's just too much money uh, to spend on a single trip uh, to, to work um, or, or to any destination. Uh, and I think uh, people would much rather opt to take a taxi, which is much cheaper, or the metro rail, which is just to my right as well. All right, Sleeve, I'm going to leave you there and go back to Nkobele. And, you know, as I was listening to you talking a little bit uh, earlier on, um, and you're in Santon, I was just thinking, you know, when I worked in the Middle East, you could never show your shoulders, right? And I've still, I think, two years on, I still have that with me. Always the note, the long shirt. So I was looking at you thinking, God, somebody's on TV showing their shoulders. But then I realized that you're in gym gear, and I'm just wondering what you're up to. Well, Jane, I'm about to run to the office, so we've got about wow. five kilometers to run from this point. But as you can see, we're getting started right away. So I will see you at the office. Well done. We'll be tracking you. Thanks for that. Makes you exhausted just <laughs> watching her sprint off there. <laughs>